What is up guys, Will with F1 Tech. Today we're going to look at the SCUF Impact Controller for PS4 and uh, PC. So the SCUF Impact, uh, it kind of looks like the PS4 controller went to a club, got drunk, looked at this big old Xbox controller and was like, dang! Tomoto likes you. Here he comes. And I got together and poof. The end product, the Scuff Impact. Now for a long time I've been using the Scuff brand. Um, I've had for a couple of years the Scuff Infinity controller, which is a pretty badass controller. I used it when um, mainly for when I was on the PS4. Um, for PC, I kind of like using the Xbox controller. It's it's weird, I know. Um, only and don't get me don't mistake me. I, I use my keyboard and mouse for shooters and most types of games. But when it comes to games like sports, you know NBA. Uh, 2k um, or Assassin's Creed games like that uh, fighters um, I like using a controller and so it was time for me to say goodbye to the Xbox controller and because I stick with certain types of genres uh, when it comes to gaming uh, using a controller it's it's no problem for me to get a Bluetooth enabled uh, controller because I don't care about uh, the, if there's any type of lag which I don't really notice when I'm playing and whoo the scuff impact now let's go ahead and open this thing and check what we got inside the box and we'll take a look at uh, uh, all the different stuff that comes in this controller because it's very customizable. That's the one thing I like about these scuff controllers. You can change uh, the, the joysticks, the button layout or the colors on the buttons. Um, you can add grip to it. It has f uh, a whole bunch of features and we'll get, all, we'll get into all that. First, let's go ahead and do the short unboxing. Starting off with the box, there's information on what the Scuff Impact has to offer along with what type of accessories we'll be receiving once we open up the package. Alright, let's open up this box. Alright, we got this nice S on the top of the box. Some literature, welcome to the world of Scuff, the rules of blah blah blah. All right, here's the user manual. Here we'll be able to see how we need to take off the different components. So, uh, all right. This is some of the, looks like extensions for my triggers and the tool to adjust that. This here is so I can take off this little ring piece to remove the thumbstick. And here's the scuff impact itself. I'm loving the color. So, I went with the white grip in lieu of the black. I thought it would just be more aesthetically pleasing. Go with the rest of my theme. Um, as you can see, I, I've been pretty much trying to stick with the same setup that I have. I got this whole Star Wars theme, it's Stormtrooper, white, red, and black. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for with my peripherals. All right, so let's talk about these interchangeable rings. Uh, so this controller comes with two rings that holds the thumbsticks in place. Uh, this comes with a tool that allows you to take this ring off. Uh, pretty easy, just put it in, turn, and it's done. Alright, so once the, the ring is removed, this allows us to uh, change out the thumbstick. Pretty simple, pop out, uh, get your new thumbstick. I got a red short dome uh, stick quite easy just pops right in and then we get the ring uh, which is also uh, interchangeable with colors so you get different colors on this pop in the tool twist to the right and voila you're good to go 
very simple. I'm glad they, they have this option. Um, just makes this controller your own. Next we have the control dicks. Ha! <laughs> dicks. Discs! For uh, the D-pad. This control disc is removable. Um, I like keeping it on. It's very good for uh, fighting games, Street Fighter, or uh, any, any games like that. So, uh, good feature. I, I put it on. I like it. So, uh, let's move on. Now, let's check out these triggers. So, the Scuff Impact has removable triggers that we can swap out for longer ones. It's very simple to remove, snaps right off, and we simply just snap the longer trigger switches in place. Again, it's all about options. I like using the longer style triggers as it feels very comfortable for me when I'm playing. However, Scuff gives you that option to use a traditional standard size trigger if that's what you're used to. Next, uh, we can adjust the actuation of the trigger to either take effect when the trigger is pressed fully or adjusting it so it will actuate halfway through the motion of our trigger press. To do this, all we need to do is turn the adjustment tab with the included tool found in our package and turn to the right half a turn. And there you have it. Now it will actuate at half press. Well guys, let me know what you think. Again, the scuff controller isn't for everybody. It's, it's mainly for the ones who are really into having their own customized controller. Um, you know, the ergonomics is not really for everyone. If you're not a fan of the Xbox or the feel of the Xbox controller, then this might not be for you. Uh, for me, I love it. Um, you know, having a Bluetooth controller uh, for my PC for the genres that I play, you know, the fightings, the, the any racing games, things like that. It, it makes it worthwhile. I love the customizability. I can uh, I can have a controller that fits the theme of my room, and um, and overall, it's 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 a great controller. Uh, as for the PS4, I don't think it's really going to give you an edge. Um, you know, you, you're better off just sticking off with uh, sticking with a, any controller that. You, you feel that's best for you guys um the paddles on the back the four buttons on the back yeah you know you might have a slight edge but it's not really gonna give you like ooh, you're gonna go five to one kill death ratio Boom and shot! Boom and shot! so uh you're not gonna get that type of performance so guys uh if you like what you see Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.